If you want to make 100% royalty-free, insane custom samples, this is Spawn. Similar to Splice, you add tags and then you go ahead and hit Spawn. And instead of being stuck with an unchangeable audio file, I now have a living, breathing idea that I can turn into an insane custom sample. My favorite feature is this experiment pad. I can move it around to pitch and morph the effects if I go left and right. You just heard delay and distortion come in. If I go up, I'm pitching it. If I come down, I'm pitching it down. So really cool way to just quickly manipulate the samples. That sounds crazy. So Spawn isn't doing the work for you. It's just making it easier to get that starting idea and then move on to what really matters, which is being creative. So easy to come up with an idea. Quickly impact it, you know. I can change any of the three instruments that are playing to new sounds, including my own custom presets, as well as the presets we've created. It sounds crazy. If I want to switch that bell sound, click next. Hear a different sound. I can edit the MIDI inside of Spawn or in my DAW. And just like a sample, I get that starting point that I needed to create a beat and it's 100% royalty free. To get your copy of Spawn, I'll leave a link in the comments. Today, I'm gonna give you a masterclass on everything you can do inside of Spawn. A great loop really just boils down to high quality sounds paired with high quality MIDI. And this is exactly how Spawn works. Based on your tags, it pairs sounds, MIDI, and effects together to create an idea that you can 100% customize. You have three instruments, one controlling your bass sounds, your chord sounds, and your melody sounds. And based on your tags, it matches those three instruments with MIDI and effects to give you the starting point that you need. That is something you cannot do with a sample or a loop that's in an audio file like an MP3. You can't go in and customize it, but with Spawn, you absolutely can. With Spawn, there's no pressure put on the beat making process. If you open up your DAW like I do and say, where do I start? Do I use a sample? Do I scroll through presets? Am I even inspired to come up with an idea? Spawn will help you avoid this frustration. Open up the tag manager and you can select any tags or scale that you're inspired by. You can start with instruments that you might like, like bells or a mood like dark or a random combination of tags. There's really no wrong or right here. Add your tags and hit spawn and within seconds, you now have three instruments playing a 100% royalty-free idea that you control. To stop the idea from playing, hit the play button beside spawn or simply hit your space bar or hit stop in your DAW. The quickest way to switch up your idea is to use the experiment pad. We wanted to provide you with a quick way to make what you've spawned sound super unique. The experiment pad gives you the ability to totally customize your sound. Simply drag the middle dot around the pad and you're gonna hear the sound transform in real time. Just like pitching a sample, you can adjust the pitch of spawn by moving the center dot up or down. You can morph the effects of your idea by moving the dot left and right. And if you hold shift, you can move the pitch without adjusting the effects. And if you hold control, you can change the effects without changing the pitch. In the right corner of the pad, you'll have access to change the effects on each instrument layer. When the effect is at 100%, that means when you go all the way to the right, it is at its maxed. As you guessed, when the effect is at minus 100, that means when you go all the way to the left, the effect is at its max. This way you can have different effects on either side of the experiment pad. It's just helpful when you're jumping around. In the drop down menu, if an effect is grayed out, that just means that it is turned off. So simply head to the sound layer, the effect is on. I'll go to reverb on the chords layer here. And once I turn that on, I'll now have access to use it as an effect inside the experiment pad. And the experiment pad can be easily automated. If you like your MIDI, but you want to change the sound, you can use the left and right arrows to filter through different sound sets. Each sound set is gonna have new effects attached to the experiment pad. And I should explain, a sound set will include three instruments, which is gonna power the melody, chord, and bass line sound engine. Spawn's piano roll is split into three different sections, one for each of those instruments, so one for the bass, the chords, and the melody. And these splits can change depending on the splits modes. So what I'll suggest to you is that you use your MIDI controller or your piano roll and explore the splits and discover how powerful it is having three instruments in one piano roll. The sound sets that you have access to are based on the tags that you selected above. And what we've done is we've tagged all of our sounds. So for example, a synth key might have a reverb tag, an aggressive tag, a filter tag, etc. So Spawn will try and match sounds that include those tags that you've selected. 
The more tags that you add, the less likely you are to find a match. Uh, we kind of feel like the sweet spot is between one to three tags. If you go ahead and add every single tag, it just lowers the amount of sounds that are gonna show up. So if you go between one and three tags, this should give you hundreds of sound sets to choose from. Use the left and right arrows to filter through the eight AI generated MIDI files, which you can use 100% royalty free. The AI is powered by our partner Lemonade. Big shout out to MJ, Ani, Saf, the whole crew over there. Spawn's MIDI algorithm was trained using ethical AI. I provided lots of my own MIDI as well as my friends. They provided MIDI to Spawn's algorithm. At the end of the day, these are real producers and they are helping create the flavor of the MIDI that you're hearing. And most importantly, we're not stealing music <laughs> like every other AI company is doing right now. Spawn's MIDI can be easily edited in the piano roll by clicking on the bass, chord, or melody layers. This is gonna give you access to edit that MIDI. Full view of the MIDI pattern can be found in the editing page, which we'll explore in a moment. And if you still want more MIDI to choose from, simply hit Spawn. You can keep Keep your tags there or add new tags and you can do this again and again to generate eight new MIDI files and sounds. So each instrument can quickly be adjusted on the home page. You're going to know which layer you're on um, by the change in the colors. You can adjust the volume, you can change the octaves, you can solo or mute any of the three instruments, and you can quickly switch the sounds. Switching the sounds will just go down the list of the preset in the category you're currently in. So for instance, if I'm in the bell category, I'm just gonna start going through uh, different bell sounds. Eventually I'll come to the end of that bell category or the last sound in that category, and then I'll transition into the next category, and this happens in alphabetical order. The octave of your sound is gonna stay locked when you make these changes, that way you don't have a bass you know, jumping up two octaves or a piano jumping down two octaves, it's gonna stay where it is. To export the MIDI to your DAW, it's really simple. Just drag Spawn's piano roll into your DAW. You can also do this by grabbing the piano roll icon in the bottom left corner. If you drag the MIDI from Spawn to your DAW and then you hit play, you're gonna recognize the MIDI is being played from your DAW and it turns Spawn into instrument mode. So now you can freely edit the MIDI inside your DAW's piano roll. You just need to remember that the piano roll is still split into those three different sections. So again, one for your bass, your chords, and your melody. You can turn off instrument mode by selecting the keyboard icon to the right of the piano roll icon. And just be careful not to play the MIDI from Spawn and your DAW's piano roll at the same time. This can be confusing and it can cause some of the sounds to double up. By selecting the editing page at the bottom of Spawn, you're gonna have access to fine tune the MIDI and the sound effects on each instrument to your taste. So by selecting the MIDI pattern, you're gonna be able to edit any of the eight MIDI directly inside of Spawn in the full length piano roll. To delete any of the MIDI, just right click and to add one left click. The color of the MIDI correlates to the sound layer. So bass is pink, chords are orange, and melody is yellow. In the bottom right corner, you will see the scale that your MIDI is currently in. And beside that, you have an option to transpose the MIDI with a simple uh, plus and minus button. To the left of the scale is the key split modes. AI isn't perfect, I'm sure you know this. On some of the MIDI, you will notice, for example, that a bass note is being played in the chord layer. So to fix this, try switching the key split mode that you're on to one of the other options. Even when it's not needed, I'll sometimes copy a version of Spawn, I'll duplicate it, and then I'll use a different key switch mode to create a slightly different MIDI pattern for my B section. So that's just a quick little tip. Beside the MIDI pattern, you will find the effects for each of the three instruments. By selecting a sound layer, you are now able to edit the individual effect for that sound. To select an effect, click the tab and it will turn white. And to turn on or off an effect, click the white button at the top when it is white, that means it's turned on. When it's not white, that means it's turned off. To adjust the sample playback, the ADSR, the glide, the half speed, and volume of an instrument, you wanna click on the sample engine icon to the left. The filter ADSR is attached to the filter cutoff. So for example, if I move up the attack on the filter cutoff in a bass sound here, you're gonna hear the filter open as the sound plays. Select the preset browser icon. You're now gonna have access to favorite, change, and save your own sounds. So start by clicking the individual layers on the left to open up a preset that is currently playing in that layer. You'll see the name of the preset at the top and you're going to be taken to the category the preset is in. Browse the categories until you find a sound, then double click to open that new preset in the selected layer. You can also use the up and down arrows on your keyboard and you can also hit enter to uh, load up a new preset. To select a preset based on a tag, simply select the tag on the left. Now only the presets with that tag are going to be shown in each category. You can favorite your sounds by selecting the icon to the the right of each preset. Select the favorite button above the sound layers and now only the favorited sounds are gonna show up in each of the categories. If I make changes to a sound, for example, I'll add distortion to the bass here. You can now save the preset by clicking on the disc icon on the bass, chord, or melody layer that you've edited. 
So you can route your sounds in Spawn. So to route each of the instruments to separate tracks in your mixer, it works slightly different in each DAW. We will have tutorials for this. You can reach out to support and we'll send those to you. For this example, I'll use FL Studio. So hit the gear icon, hit the processing and auto map the outputs of the plugin. Now go back to Spawn and in the bottom right corner, you'll see this little output icon. Turn that on, which is green and each instrument will be routed to separate tracks in your mixer. Beside the output icon, you'll see the master volume of the plugin. You can use this to turn down the master output, which is gonna essentially just turn down all three instruments rather than turning down an individual instrument. If you'd like any of the settings that you have adjusted to go back to their default settings in Spawn, all you have to do is double click and it will send it back to its default setting. All of your account info from managing your subscription, the plugin size and other miscellaneous Spawn info can be found by clicking the account icon in the top right corner. And finally, if you hover over any button, knob, or section, it is going to display a tooltip bar in the bottom of Spawn. I go by my best friend Jacob and listen, I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate you for supporting Sauceware Audio and supporting Spawn. Uh, over here at Sauceware, we're always trying to push the limits with these plugins, so thank you for checking out Spawn. If you have any more questions, concerns, anything like that, you can always email us, support at saucewareaudio.com. Like I said, I really appreciate you and I hope you have a great day.